Good afternoon, I'm Cadet Eikhoff and I'll be talking about IMTs today. IMTs are individual movement techniques, most often used in combat situations when you are either under fire or trying to keep your location hidden from the enemy. So starting off with the low crawl. The low crawl has the, lo um, the lowest silhouette. You use it to cross places where the concealment and cover is very low and enemy fire or observation prevents you from getting up and moving across the field. So you're gonna keep your body close to the ground and with your firing hand, you're going to grasp your weapon, either with your finger or with your hand, at the upper sling swivel, which will be at the tip of the barrel. For example, I used a stick. You're gonna grip it at the very tip, line it up with your forearm. So you're gonna let your weapon lie flat against your forearm, keeping the muzzle off the ground and letting the weapon butt drag on the ground. To move, you're going to push your arms forward and pull your firing side leg forward. You'll then pull your arms and push with your leg and you'll continue this movement until you have reached your objective. If you need to see where you're going, you're going to pull up on your cap, as I did in this video. Like this, you're going to take your hand, your non-firing hand and pull up on your cap and move sideways. You wanna keep your face as low to the ground as possible. Your body wants to be as low to the ground as possible, which means your face is going to be as flat as possible on the ground. So if you have to see, you're going to take your non-firing hand that's not holding your weapon and pull slightly up on the tip of your cap so you can see the direction you're moving. Place it back so your head is again flat on the ground and continue the movement as I did here. So you're gonna keep your head flat to the ground and use your arms and legs to pull yourself forward. All right, next we have the high crawl. It lets you move faster than the low crawl and still gives you a low silhouette. So you still wanna keep your body as flat to the ground as possible while you're moving, but instead of being as flat as possible across your entire body, you're going to be propped up on your elbows um, and use your legs to push yourself. So you're gonna use this crawl when there is good concealment, but the enemy fire prevents you from getting up and moving or running or walking um, to the next cover. So you're gonna keep your body, like your upper body off the ground and keep your lower body as flat to the ground as possible. So you're gonna rest on your forearms with your weapon in your elbows you're gonna cross your arms like this so your weapon is laying flat. You wanna keep your muzzle out of the ground as you're moving. To move, you'll alternately advance your right elbow and left knee and then your left elbow and right knee. It's pretty simple. You're just crawling across the ground as fast as you can using your feet to propel yourself forward. For example, keeping the muzzle out of the ground and moving as fast as you can at a low silhouette. The last IMT I'm gonna talk about today is the rush. More commonly used is the buddy rush. You can also use it as a squad or platoon level as well. It's the fastest way to move from one position to another. Each rush should only be about three to five seconds. You wanna make it as fast as possible so the enemy does not have enough time to detect your location and have sights on you. Um, you always want to try and find some cover and concealment so you are not in enemy sights. And you want to roll in your position. So if they do have eyes on you, you want to roll out of that position, get up, cross the set, um, open area as fast as possible. When using the buddy rush, you always want to communicate between your partners. In this video, you'll see an example of uh, us doing the buddy rush as we're moving, we are communicating to each other. So you can see we're parallel. We're gonna do the alternate bound buddy rush. So as one person gets up, you're going to say, cover me while I move. Your buddy's gonna say, got you covered. And then you state that you're moving so they know that you're moving. You're going to roll out of position, get up, cross your partner so that you're alternately bounding and then get down. And when you get down, you wanna plank your hands and keep the muzzle of your weapon out of the dirt. So you, you wanna hit it with the butt of the weapon on the ground. And then 
fall into a push-up position and then lay your body flat on the ground. Once you're set, you'll stay set. And then um, your body will say, cover me while I move. And you'll say, uh, got you covered as they move to their next position of cover and concealment.